Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I got for you um, a video on a horror game that I played on stream uh, based on actual true events. Well, based on actual true events. Really, it's people's stories that they submit to this guy and he makes little mini indie horror games out of them. And pretty much, um, yeah, it's based on people's experiences or past experiences that they've uh yeah, that, that has happened to them. So real life stories. I don't know whether they're true or not, or the people are just submitting these just to get a story out there to get some clout. I don't know. I'm not saying they are, but who knows? Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm not really doing a big intro today because it is just a horror game, me just playing through it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, uh, be on the lookout for more content on horror games because I will have a few more videos coming out uh, of, of some other horror games. But anyways, have a good day and make sure um you hit that that subscribe button and you hit that like button and also leave a comment down below uh of what you think and if whether you want to see some more horror gameplay or some more hunt gameplay either one i um, be happy to make that content for you just let me know down below cheers thank you and go forward hitchhike um by the way if you have a story to share send it to fears to phantom stories at gmail.com these stories what we're about to play is based on true events or i should say based on people's stories so i don't know if they're actually true or not could just be people telling bullshit to get some clout but hey let's uh yeah norwood hitchhike is norwood a real place it's got to be right anyways Last time we played was ages and ages ago. We played Home Alone. Now we're playing Norwood Hitchhike. And there's three other more episodes, apparently. Guess I'll just have to look out for them. Alright, let's get into this. Here's the Phantom Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. June 16 This happened to me when I was 19 Right I'm a little over 21 now I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first but getting out may help, even if it's just a little bit. Oh. Honestly, if you have any survivor stories, send them. I mean, they're making cheap little indie games off and they make a bunch of money off it. So may as well get it out there. If it is real or if it is bullshit, it doesn't matter, I guess. I mean, it kind of does if it's bullshit because these guys are trying to make horror games out of true stories, but yeah. Why, why is it black screen? I just, I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention and get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. That's pretty cool. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket wouldn't have been too, would have been too expensive. I mean, that's fair. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. Ooh, it was a little over 12 hour drive. See, back roads is not always the best answer, especially at night time, because some of those back roads are not well lit up, especially here in Australia. Some of our back roads, um, like Belmines Road and Putty Road, that is very dangerous at a night time, um, especially when it's foggy, because they're not very lit up, because it's very, uh, it's all bush and mountains and stuff, so you got to be careful. You know, I'd rather take the traffic than jump on some of those back roads, that's for sure. <sighs> oh, we're driving? No way. Oh. Don't read messages while you drive, but hey, why don't we do it? 
Do you mean stuck in the biggest traffic jam? That sucks. It's not too good here. Oh. Oh wow, this is what happens when you It's what happens when you drive and It's what happens when you drive and text. This is why we're gonna we're gonna pull over here. Um we're gonna Fuck off! Oh okay we died. Alright, well, lesson, lesson number one, never, um, never drive, drive on the back roads, and lesson number two, never fucking, wow, we really died just straight out like that. Wow. Anyways, we're not reading that text message. I think he gets killed, honestly. Uh, alright, let's skip all this nonsense. We just, we just, June 16th. I actually didn't even see the date last time. Alright, let's go. We've read all this, I read all this, I read all this. If you want to read it, go back to the stream. Go start of the stream. Alright, we're, we're driving. We're driving. Oh yeah, it's, it's a, I'm guessing it's in America because we're driving on the right side of the road, so it's somewhere in America. Alright, let's pull over. On the right side of the road this time. Kinda in the middle of the road, but I'm gonna quickly read through these. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, drive safely, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got a dad. Anything else? Leave me now. Drive safe, Holly. All right. So these are all the messages. All right. Well, we're not gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna have a look at those messages a little bit later. Um, but although the music in this. Car is great. Like really great. Oh, there's a car there. Oh. Uh oh. <coughs> I thought in America you had to be like 21 and over to do certain. Ah, uh, oh, I can't keep pulling over. So we're gonna keep driving. Because that's just stupid. He shouldn't be messaging and texting you while you're driving. I admit I was a terrible driver. Near yeah, halfway through the drive. Realized I was long gas. Oh, you're low on gas, are you? So where's the nearest petrol station? Sorry, we call it pass petrol station, not gas station. Another text message. Alright. Yo, Dad, you just gotta wait up a bit. Because we're driving at the moment. I will message you when we get to the petrol station. What the fuck was that? There was a person. There was a person there. I just seen a person drive into the forest. Um, walk into the forest, sorry. I literally did y'all see that? I seen a person walk into the forest. Did we just get back in? No. Get out. Where's the petrol cap? Do you not have a petrol cap? First of all, let's read these messages. Where did you reach? So got about six hours away from the city. You got stuck in the jam. Told you to take that flight. Oh. Hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, I'm feeling fine, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. We can type back. We can. Okay. All I will be okay. Just stopped to get gas. Can we send that? No, 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 nothing. I just seen someone walk. I thought we could message. That'd be pretty cool if you could message. You know what I mean? Like if you could message the dad and be like, hey, I'm just stopping to get petrol. 
I mean, that's what I would do if my dad messaged me, that's all. I don't know what to do here, honestly. Alright, so we just read her message and she said Holly. And nothing. What do you mean? Hey, it's tough. It's not cleaned. Uh, at this point, I don't give a shit if it's cleaned. Wait, there was a guy in here. Can we talk to this guy? Alright, so he doesn't want to talk. He's not very friendly. And one more thing. You see a woman in white or blue gown trying to ride. Why is it always a woman in gown on a highway that wants to like hop in your car? Just to say, it's like the most generic ghost story I've ever heard in my entire life. Some people say that she died in a car accident and they're on prom night. Some say that, that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Look, I skipped from most of that stuff to part because it was just... I don't feel like it actually. he actually said that during the story. Whoever wrote this, holy... I'm not doubting them, I'm just saying... Just saying it just sounds a bit far-fetched. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever ever under any circus pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their farms out, they ain't what you think. Man. They just ain't. Alright, well, noted don't pick up hitchhikers, yeah? That's I mean that's 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 kinda common sense. Anyways. Yeah, mum. Can we just get rid of this message? Because honestly, I thought we could actually type our own messages and apparently we can't, so. Oh, you buy a can of drink. Oh, right, well, we may as well buy a can of drink. Keep ourselves awake, I guess, for the, the trip. Last thing you want is falling asleep at the wheel. This guy's been in here a long time just standing there, right? What the fuck is this? He just got into the van and drove off. Now there's a truck out here too. And there was a guy that was in these woods just like walking in here as we were driving in. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour but we're out of dog food. Could you get some from mile? I'll pay you back. I guess we'll just go in and get some dog food then. I'm guessing, is this dog food up here? I swear this was dog food. Yes. Wait, so does that mean we could buy a weapon, maybe? I mean, we know how the story goes. I mean, not really, but... 
I know something bad's gonna happen. You got any weapons in here? Any knives? You live in America. Surely there's a gun. Just saying. I'm not saying every American has a gun. Alright, we're not getting political here. I'm just saying. That these are the, one of the freest countries when it comes to that sort of stuff. Uh Oh my god, are you kidding? I could just put that in the trunk. Well, I tried to. Fucking no. There we go. No, it's still sticking out. It look, it's making me feel funny. Yes. Yes, there we go. Why do you have the radio going? Wait, we didn't put the gas in because the gas light's still on. That's pump number three. That's pump number four. That's pump number two. Alright, so... We got a... Why wouldn't you just say pump number one? Honestly. We don't know you're gonna go to pump number two. I wanna go check this truck out. And yeah, no, I don't trust this guy's just standing there. Is that his truck? I'm guessing. I'm guessing so. I'm guessing that's his truck, right? <laughs> guessing that's his truck, chat. Oh, there's another semi trailer there, or is it just old? Oh, that's right. Gotta drive on the right side of the road. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Huh? What do you mean? Whoa, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Anyways, I'm not reading another text while we're... What happened to my lights? What happened to my lights? There's a car up here. It's flickering. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck is my lights flickering for? Did you not get your car service before you went on this road trip? That's pretty irresponsible. Look, I know you're 19, but fuck me. What the fuck is going on here? Fuck's these lights go? Where'd, where'd your lights go, man? I can't see shit. I think someone's coming up my rear. Fuck's going on? Okay, now we're on the bridge.
This is the bridge he was talking about, right? When he shouldn't go down there this time of year or something. Why is there always like some sort of spooky ghost story though about like shouldn't go down this time of year or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that or you know or don't drive on the night and road at night because there's a lady in white dress that will hop into your car. Like it's very generic. Not saying it's wrong, but fuck me, can you just turn that off? Holy shit! Well, at least it should be. Yeah, well, whatever you got going on in your head, obviously... I don't know why you're driving at night. At the, at like a, like, look at this place. This place looks like a desert. Like, not a desert, but it looks like a... It's not like somewhere you want to be at night. Why is it? There's a car there. Just parked. You kidding? I seen it. And there was a rabbit just making weird funny noises, man. What the fuck is going on right now? Wait, so you're telling me... Okay, I would have... I don't think I would have pulled over because... Yes, I seen the car from the petrol station, right? So two large logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Or you don't get out. That's for sure. The fuck? Alright. Well, we're turning around then. And we're going back to the highway. That's what I would do. I'm not getting out. I'm turning around. We're surviving in this story. Why is it so hard to turn your vehicle? Like legit, I can't even turn your vehicle because you you got such stiff steering. The fuck is wrong with you? Get your car fixed before you go on these massive road trips, honestly. I'm not going to have a look at that, honestly. This is someone's property, right? What the fuck is that? Is that a bear? Oh, that's a bear. Ah, oh, there's a bear just chilling. Anyways, um, I guess I gotta get back in the car and, and follow the story. And just. I just gotta follow. Oh my god, I know you're not the best at driving, but fuck me, how hard is it to turn your car around? Oh my god. Am I stuck? Ah! Oh, it's a bush. <laughs> it's a fucking bush, and I got scared. <laughs> yeah, I thought a dude just rolled up on our window then. Be like, hi, welcome to Chili's. No, he was like, hi, I'm here to suck your blood. Ah, oh, well, I guess we gotta put, we gotta get out here, because this is where the game wants us to get out. Although I seen the car all the way back up there. You just moved them? Ah, oh, now I know this story's bullshit. You, you didn't just move them. There's no way you moved these giant logs all the way off the road like this. There's no way.
Hello? Yeah, I'm getting in the car, I'm fucking off. Check your back seat, rule number, like, 34. Oh yeah, of course. Of course your car doesn't want to work. Hello, text your mum back. And just like that, I was standing in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Are you kidding? Bro, this is why I don't do these drives. Like, not by myself, man. Didn't make sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told to take rides from strangers. I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at the moment, I had no choice. Was there a dude coming up? I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Just keep trying to start the car. I'm Ten twenty-three p.m. Are you kidding me? Well, so you're in ten. It's like ten o'clock. Hey! Hey! Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Well, obviously you don't fucking let strangers hop in your car. It's like a rule. The guy at the at the petrol station said don't even do it. So what do you think these people are going to think? Especially when you sit there and put fucking ghost stories in their head. I'm not saying that. All ghost stories are false. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying. When you freak out someone out enough, they're not going to do exactly what you want them to do. Okay, we stopped. I'm guessing this is where we get in the car, right? Okay, so I'm guessing we're just gonna get our stuff from the back. He's the guy that we tried to talk to and he didn't even say a word. You know? First we seen a bear, then we seen that car that took off in the um the petrol station. It was broken down like halfway down the road. I didn't stop because in my head I wouldn't have stopped. I'm trying to play this like how I would play it and I'm sure as hell wouldn't be doing what she did. And there's no way. I'm telling you there's no way you would have dragged those two giant logs off the fucking road like that. Unless they were hollow. And he can't be the bad guy, right? Because those logs were obviously weren't put there deliberately because he didn't do it. I mean, if he is the bad guy, then I'd be surprised on how he did it. And why all these cars out here are just sticks. You know what I mean? Is he going to take off of all that shit? I feel like that's what he's going to do. He's going to take off of all our shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck me, just get it in there. Thank you. Bro, you're so weak at throwing shit. What does it launch that bag? 
Straight in the back of the driver's head. I mean, ah, I'm kidding. Technically, I wouldn't even get in his car. You know what I would have done? Sat in my own car and locked everything up till morning. Waited for someone to stop. Tell him to call for help. You know, tell him to go and call for help. And then I'd just be waiting here, you know, because I don't feel like getting in your car. It's just how I am. Yo, why? What? As if this shit ain't just gonna fall out of the car. Like, look at my skateboard just chilling. Oh, I got a hat, and that's it. I'm, surely I can just put that hat on, right? Cause you're a skater boy, I said see you later, boy. Mm. First of all, why is there like chit chat in my ear? So that was his 4B. So he were right. It was his it was his his truck. Uh, let's see if you're actually a better driver than moi, you know? Anyways. Awkward silence in the truck, I get. You won't tell me who you are. Keep it, keep it polite, but don't keep it too polite. Like, you don't want to tell strangers your name and stuff, you know, you prefer not to say, especially in a situation like this, you don't know him. Like, I know it seems rude, and he's giving you a lift. But yeah, you're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a barrier. It's an old car. That's it. So. Yeah, look, just be like, that's an old car. So what do you think about... Interesting. Travelling down here. don't bother them and you don't be bothered I guess I guess that's true if you like even whether you believe it or not you just don't play with that sort of shit ah uh, well I might just leave him alone because he could be it we're not gonna bother him nope I refuse to in fact I'm gonna have a look at my phone still no service you know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before I'm not Ah, so that's why he didn't talk to me. Because you were being a jerk. I thought you were just being safe. But did you just fall asleep in his car? Please tell me you didn't just fall asleep in his car. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by my, by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said, What leaving? So, could he actually be one of the good guys? I mean, by the sounds of it. By the sounds of it, he actually could be one of the good guys. Anyways, let's, uh, let's go in here. Let's shut this door behind us because we don't want to be rude. Ooh, that's a creepy ass photo, by the way. Don't have that for customers to look at. I know you're in the country bumpkin, but you know.
So we paid. Right over there. Talk about the car. Alright. Yes. Oh well, yeah, that's just common courtesy in a hotel. I mean, I used to party in hotels and stuff, you know. Be as loud as I want, because no one was gonna tell thirty army dudes to shut the fuck up. If you get what I'm saying. But in a situation like this, in the middle of bomb fuck no, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be doing it in nice fancy hotels. This guy's door is just pried open. Does he know it? I, I want to kind of like look into it, but I don't want to like actually do that because that's not something I do. And, oh, this is the guy. Wait, is this the car that was broken down behind us? Or is this the guy that left the gas the petrol station? I keep going to gas station because that's what it is in the game, but to us it's a petrol station. My, Holly? Holly? Hey, where you at? I'll reply to you in a second. Nice and warm inside. Really? It's nice and warm inside? Wait, there's no bed? Couldn't have slept there. There's no mattress. Where the f what the fuck? You pay 40 bucks for a no mattress? Alright, well, I can't answer the phone because I got no fucking service. Alright, so. Well, this is TV. Is this. Okay, I gotta ask something. Were you in the 1990s or 1980s era? Like, whoever wrote this story? Like, if you see this video. Like. Don't think I was actually like trying to bully you or anything, because it's just it's very hard for me to believe when it's cl very cliche as you say. You know what I mean? But were you born in like the 1990s or 1980s or something? They have all this old style stuff. You know what? I'm turning it off. <clears throat> hmm. What are you doing here? Holy fuck! Fuck me, he scared the shit out of me. I didn't mean for that to come out of my body, but holy fuck. Anyways. Get your stuff. Where is my stuff? Is it? Oh, that's right. I mean, he would have dropped it off at the back of the truck, true? I will get some soda, alright? We'll get something to eat too. You know, these sort of situations you'd want to eat. Well, let's get a soda, let's consume the soda, and then we'll pick out the rest of the stuff like, while he cleans, I guess. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Oh, 
I mean, how much money do we actually have? I mean, you would have taken a fair bit going on a holiday, right? Like, that's what you do? You save a bit of money before you go on a holiday? Just gotta ask. Just gotta ask. I'm just curious. Like, this game is it's blowing my mind out of the water right now. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying that it's very, it's very generic. I've heard some of these stories, like, from actual people in real life. Zack sort of thing, you know, stuck on a highway sort of thing, and ghosts and st stories and all that shit. I'm not saying that what you're saying is incorrect, alright? I'm not saying that at all. Just, just, probably putting out. I understand this is you expressing your story, so I'm not trying to bully, or make you feel bad. But it's just, you know, one of those things. Oh, well, you can leave now. Mercy, 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 mercy. What? But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's fine. It's not working. Just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. All right, chat. All right, we're back. We're back. Um, sorry, we had a internet outage, but we should be all right now. We should be back and, and all goods to go. I can't remember exactly where, where the stream cut out, so I've just um, restarted the stream back to a save point on this game. Um, so yeah, uh, all right. I have a few questions. So. Actually, I'll get to the questions at the end of the stream. At the end of the stream. All right. All right well, let's just lay down. <laughs> Call it force up, but there was something very off about the place. All right. So what do you do? Still no service on the phone. Still nothing. Oh, there's a coffee machine over here. Can we maybe get a coffee? Let's get an espresso. Let's get an espresso. Why not? Can't sleep. Consume. Oh, what just happened? Did my internet just cut out again? Oh no. Okay. We're still on. Whoa. Oh, if I go forwards, I go backwards. If I go left, I go right. I go right, I go left. What the fuck is happening to me? Am I drugged or something? It's 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. The fuck 
was that? What just happened? That just scared the fuck out of me. Ah, oh, so now we gotta start back here again. Ah, oh, well, this is where we at. Got to do all this again. Yeah, pay, pay, pay. Yeah, talk about the car. Let's go. Yeah, don't wake the neighbors, got it. Alright, so we gotta go back in here. It's warm inside, shut the door. Open this, talk to him. Ah. Okay. So we now know not to open the closet once we get fucking drugged or sedated or whatever the fuck happens to us. Energy soda. Get some energy soda soon. Hold up. Ah, uh, it looks like he's made the bed for us now. As before, there was no mattress. All right, so there was someone in the closet. Guess we don't open that. Stay away from the closet. sleep. Someone appears in my window right here. He's looking at the window. Ah, oh, get up. espresso we're gonna get somewhat drugged or something consume yeah walk out here boom sedated all right
Okay, so this is where you say you're sedated or you were sedated. Alright. The phone didn't ring this time. Feel safe going out. Well, there's someone in the closet. What happened? Did I just hear knocking? Okay, I did hear knocking. Messing with me. We don't have. We don't. It's okay. I've had enough of you, crazy goons here. So I guess. Crazy one here. I hate my job. Lead Joe. All right, Joe. Move. Come over here to where the coffee machine is, and we can show you exactly what happened. Okay, the coffee machine's not here. Where the fuck's the coffee machine? Can you walk any quicker? Wait, why oh, is a bit of that car open? Right here. Table by the TV, alright. Let's go do that. Go back to my room, check the table by the TV. Okay, that's a bit weird that you said go back to my room and check the table by the TV. Why not call the police? On me or call the police in general? She's this girl's obviously frightened. Oh, now nice, my closet fucking door is open. that I seen them in there at the beginning are we actually just gonna take these I guess so I guess we're just gonna take them alright uh, why is it just random pills and why are you taking random pills that's what I wanna know did this actually happen in the story or is this just a spin off like a bit of an exaggeration these are the questions I'm gonna go over after this Where is she? And then she goes next room to the right. What the fuck is that?
Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, hey, Jesse G, how's it going? How's it going, bro? Oh, to this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town... What is this game? Well, so this game is apparently based on a true story. People tell their stories or submit their stories to this fella and he makes little indie horror games out of it. Um, and then, yeah, it pretty much tells their story, how it is, but it's a bit far-fetched. I mean, I was, I was streaming the start of it, then my stream crashed, and now I've had to restart my stream, so I will put a YouTube video up of the entire gameplay, so if you did miss the first part, it's alright, I'll put the whole thing on YouTube, but... <laughs> I just want to know, why didn't you call the police? Did you call the police when you went home? Whoever posted this or sent this, it's obviously in secret, but I want to know. I think I've played Jack Star. Can I play some of these? Yeah, definitely. I think he played the first one, Home Alone. I played the first one, Home Alone, uh, about a year or two ago. I streamed it. Uh, but yeah, um... But I want to know, like, why did not one call the police? Did you not tell the police about this story? Like, like this is me asking the person who submitted this. Obviously, I probably won't get an answer. But that's just my questions. Why didn't you call the police when you went home? Did you tell your parents what happened? Did they call the police and get the motel shut down? Um... You know, like, 